welcome back. In the last video, you may remember, I showed you how we make these little decorative end caps. So today I thought we'd talk about how we go from these to these. So as you can see here, each armrest block is cut out of a two to three inch diameter log at 10 inches long. So you're gonna need two 10 inch blocks for each set of arms. So we've got our armrests cut. The next step is to start drilling them out. Basically what we're going to want to do is drill a hole all the way through the center of this where this will sit in there like that and we'll be able to bolt off this end of the hole down here. So how do we get there? It's pretty simple. Since we're using one by one square tubing we're going to want to start with a countersink hole that is one inch in diameter. Then we'll take our chisel and square it out. So I've got a Foster bit here. You can also use a paddle bit. Either one will work. And I want to go ahead and mark one inch on the shank so that we only drill a one inch deep hole. As you can see I've already marked this here at one inch. Then on the opposite side, we're going to want to use an inch and a quarter. And I'll show you why in a minute. And again, we've marked one inch deep. And you can just eyeball center on this. So we've taken time to use our one inch. Now we're going to switch out to the inch and a quarter and do the other side. And it's really the same process. So we've drilled our countersink holes on both sides. We've got an inch and a quarter here and a one inch hole here. The next thing we're going to want to do is drill a hole all the way through the center of this to accommodate our half inch rod. Now to do that, we're going to use our, our hole hog, which is a big heavy duty drill with a 5 8 inch auger drill bit. You can use a standard drill and this drill bit, but this hole hog has got a little more power. Okay, so we've set our block and our vise and we're ready to drill. We'll just center up our auger bit and let it, and make sure we're we're lined up plumb both ways. And there you have it. One little trick I'll tell you about to get your hole to line right up from end to end is to drill halfway down, then flip it over and drill down from the other side. It's the most effective way to get those to meet right in the middle. There you go. So come on back next time and I'll show you how we detail these out. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.